I haven't done this since the very beginning of my channel, but I want to make a 0.5 episode where I go over the skill sheets and deeper dive into what went wrong in this game, Gareth 2 vs. Magnus 2. Uh, looking at the skill sheets, there were several issues. Spin things. I feel like uh, I was aware of the main models and factions, checked off all that section. Aware of scenario, I was aware of it. Um, didn't get assassinated. Uh, did pretty well there. Basic understanding of wind conditions for the scenario, yep. Uh, I was able to pursue the triple threat. I sort I set myself up for assassination. It just didn't pan out the way he positioned and the way he went and what was in my way. Um, I was somewhat set up for scenario, but really it's Magnus too. He's going to have the advantage there, especially in a melee list. Where I feel like things went wrong for me was able to deploy for good model matchups. And... That's where things could have been better for me. Um, my whole plan was pretty good. However, I got bogged down in some very, very key places. And my macro strategy uh, fell apart because I wasn't able, I didn't have a good general micro strategy. So going back to it, I want to show you guys what I mean. Um, in my deployment, in this list, Everything, I mean, I need to get armor cracking to the jacks. I did a fantastic job of that. I hit him with Imperatus. I put a lot of har harpies into him. Gareth shot them a whole bunch. Things went really well there. I did that deadly shots. I really focused on them. However, Alexia and the Eliminators had free reign to tie down my Sentinels, make them not very effective, and kill a whole bunch of them. The way I deployed, I was not prepared to deal with them with my tools, which is Mage Sight and Harpies. Um, Gareth, on this turn right here, probably needed to uh, put out a Mage Sight bubble right here and try and um, focus on doing less damage to the Jacks and having a Harpy come over here, shoot down those Eliminators, and Road to War. And I basically needed to have Gareth, instead of being back here behind the objective, I needed him more like right here um, or in this water so that uh, he could be mage sighting these Eliminators and also be shooting down Alexia. Because all that damage he put into Jax was fantastic, but killing the Jax um, is ultimately mostly what my list is designed to be able to do, even though they are armor 22 and armor 21, awesome, solid, cheap war Jax. I still, the Eliminators, and I, I can show it best um, over in here. The Eliminators killed a whole bunch of my Sentinels right here, uh, but I can't clear this zone and score this zone because of the Eliminators. I can't get to the Warjacks because Alexia is in my way, and Alexia and the Eliminators are 17s, and I can get back arc swings, but they're still difficult to get rid of. My tools for getting rid of them are Gareth and Harpies, and that's where I messed up in my ability to see them and hit them, I guess. Um, knowing what I know now, if I had set myself up um, after turn one and when he counter-deployed to put all of his Eliminators and Alexia down here, Gareth needs to go right here, and a Harpy needs to run over here, and I basically need to put them in this water and play from that position. This Harpy and this Ghost Diaper still have to go over here. I still have to commit something to this zone so that I don't um, so I don't lose on scenario over there because that's I still got to be aware of my macro game. I still got to be aware of my big win conditions. But if I free up these Sentinels to start clearing the zone and killing things out of it, it drastically changes the way this game played up. The Steelheads, um, because I was more or less getting Alpha and I, he triggered Vengeance and came into me, and I more or less had a fantastic Alpha for getting work done and clearing out. I mean, there's not Steelheads left <laughs> besides the ones that ran over here, which I'm just kind of fine with, I guess. But, yeah, I needed to... Yeah. Um, I needed over here, I needed to kill Anastasia, 
and I needed the Harpy not to get charged by Anastasia and be in a little bit better spot so there's less charges. If he had been right over here, all these Halberdiers wouldn't have been able to charge him the turn before. He would be contesting longer, so I needed to do that Road to War better. And I also needed to get into this zone and contest it better. Uh, not this turn, but uh, this turn right here, I needed to get some Vengeancing dudes into there. Just a miscalculation on my part instead of ending up right here. Those little differences, I think, would make this a different game for me and for how it played out. Um, and the reason why Gareth should be shooting Anastasia is because he has Black Penny natively and because he uh, he has a blessed weapon, blessed POW 14 armor piercing that can ignore her, uh, her bullet dodger and should be able to one-shot her with a boosted damage roll. And I mean, he's he's the, he's the man to do it. I I was killing half a jack with each shot, but I think killing Alexia was more valuable to be at that point. Yeah. So that's I mean that's that's all I got to say on looking through the skill sheets. I can see two critical areas: the micro game with just the little tiny movements, um, little tiny details. Uh, my macro strategy was sound. I just didn't execute it very well because of the micro game and setting up my good, my uh, my matchups correctly against those eliminators and Anastate or and uh, Alexia. I needed to recognize early on in the game that they were going to be an issue for me, and I needed to correctly allocate to deal with them. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully this video adds some clarity. Because oh, I forgot to mention. This whole unit of Sentinels is what it took to kill Alexia because I needed to roll, I think it was 10s and 8s, 8s in her back arc and 10s in her front. And I think I hit her like three times, but June through all her boxes, just, it took a while. So yeah, that was, that was a pain in the butt. And I really needed to find a way to avoid it. So thank you for watching and uh, have a fantastic day, weekend, night, evening, morning, whatever it might be.